so let's identify where our graph is increasing and decreasing. Now the first thing you want to do is label your relative extrema. Your graph will turn around at relative extremas, right? It's the hills, right? You go up the hill, let me go down the hill. All right, so we have a relative max. Now the scale on this is kind of interesting because it's showing 40 there. So each one of these boxes is is 10. So that's probably be probably about halfway through. Uh, and then on the y's, <laughs> or on the so on the y, each of these is 10. On the x, each is a each box is a half. <laughs> So this is a half. All right, so that point there where we have a relative max, I'd say is at negative 1, 5. Interesting little scale this is going up by. On the, uh, we have a relative minimum. Oh, let's label this relative max. The relative uh, minimum is pretty easy to figure out because it's right here at 0, 0. I'm going to have to erase those values over here. I don't have enough room. So that's at 0, 0. And that's a relative min. And then up here, uh, let's see, that would be, so that would be 2, yeah, 2 and a half, 3, 3 and a half, yeah, that would be 2 on the x. And on the y, that would be 30. So this is 2, 30. And that is also a relative max. All right, so uh, we read the graphs from left to right, right? Where the graph is going up left to right, your graph, your function is increasing. The x, va the, excuse me, the y values are getting larger, right? Uh, when we give the interval for increasing or decreasing, it's the where it occurs, not the what the value is. So make sure when you give your interval, you give it in x values. All right, so we're going to first to be increasing until we get to the relative maximum. All right, you go up to your high point, and then you turn around, and you decrease to go down to your low point. All right, so it's increasing from negative infinity, right, and it stops increasing at negative 1. All right, and then it starts to decrease. So it's decreasing from negative 1 to 0. And then we hit our relative min, so we got to turn around so we can increase. Turn. So at a turning point, that's why it's called a turning point. You turn and go back the other direction. All right, so we're increasing from 0 to 2. And then after that, we're just going to be decreasing. So 2 to infinity. All right? And if it helps, you can color code the, your graph just the way I color coded mine. It's a good way to do it for the notes. Let's look at the next one. All right, let's write in the extreme values. All right, so this one, the x's are going up by 1, the y's are going up by 10. So that's about 2, negative 2, 10. Uh, and this is still, oops, I don't need that point, sorry. <laughs> We're not doing anything there. It's just an intercept, but it's not a turning point. Sorry, right there. Uh, and so that's a little less, I guess it's about 2. Uh, it's about maybe 2, 8, 2, negative 8, excuse me. All right, so now let's find where we're increasing or decreasing. This one's not as, this one's a little easier than the other graph because we just have one relative max and one relative min. So first we're increasing till we get to negative 2. So we're increasing from negative infinity to negative 2. And then we turn around, and we're decreasing from negative 2 to 2. And then we turn around, and we're increasing after that, so 2 to infinity. And there we go. That's all there is to that. All right, let's do one more problem. All right, 
and as a reminder, right, you can think of it as like a roller coaster. If the roller coaster is going down the hill, it's the fun part, you're decreasing. If it's the not as much fun part, you're going up the hill, <laughs> then it's the increasing. And remember, we read graphs left to right. All right, so let's go ahead and do these. For which values of its domain are the functions increasing and decreasing? All right, so let's label our turning points. These are all parabolas, so they're just going to have either a relative max or a relative min. Uh, and this is a lot easier to read. All right, so then there's other graphs where um, that's a little less than 5. I'd call that 4, let's see, actually 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. Yeah, each one of those is one. So that would be four, uh, four negative four. All right, so here we are. Uh, so we start off decreasing down the hill. And then once we get to the bottom of the hill, we go up and we are increasing. So our graph is decreasing. from negative infinity to 4, it's the x value, and the graph is increasing from 4 to infinity. All right, so at that vertex for the quadratics, your graph is going to shift. Either it's going to go from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing, depending on whether it's concave up or concave down. All right, let's label the other, the next one. All right, so that value is negative 2, negative 3. All right, and uh, our graph starts off by decreasing. And then once we get to that relative minimum, our graph switches, and now we are increasing. So the graph is decreasing. from negative infinity to negative 2, and the graph is increasing from negative 2 to infinity. And then let's do the last one. All right, so now this time our graph starts off by increasing. All right, so we're increasing. Oh, let's put down the, the point, 0, 0. So we start off by increasing, and then we turn around, and the graph is decreasing. Okay? So we go left to right. So the graph is decreasing. Actually, maybe I'll write the increasing first on this one, since it, does, it, since it increases first. So it is increasing from negative infinity to 0, and then decreasing from 0 to infinity. And there we go. All right. And I'm going to end this. And on the next slide, we are just going to find all the features of our graphs. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.